Muy buenas tardes, mi raza. Today is Tuesday, January 18th. 18th, right? 17. 17. <laughs> I just want to say hi. Hello, here I am, as I said I would be. Yes. Um, I've been gone for a minute. Yes, I have. It's been about two months since my last video pero aquí estoy lista para seguir chingando madres sorry mom hi by the way uh yeah so i'm back uh a lot of you guys were like what's up where's your show are you done no i'm not done i'm right here um i had to take a little break i had a lot going on like mentally um work wise it picked up and I'm very thankful for all of it. Um, you know, I've been praying for work literally all COVID, all year, all everything. And it finally hit around um, Halloween time, like big time. So, you know, I had to take advantage of it and jump on it and get it done, you know. And um, as you guys seen, um, John got his class A, so we took off. We went all the way to Michigan. And yeah, it was, it was, um, how can I describe it? It was exciting. It was humbling. It was something totally different out of this world for us, for me, where, you know, we're, we don't go anywhere that far. We don't go anywhere, period. Like, damn, we're always here, you know, little vacationers we take on the weekend is nothing. This time we were gone, um, 15 days, like literally. We went up to Michigan, we came back down, the load coming back down went up to um, San Jose. From San Jose, we couldn't find anything straight shot, so we had to go up a little bit further than um, San Francisco. We loaded there and came back. So it was a mission, but let me tell you, it was the best. I had my kids with me at all moments, which was great. We were, I was my kid was sick so we decided to just go along with him and we were all dying anyway thank god everybody's better my kid's good my, both my girls were all doing well but like i said it's really humbling because people usually don't really care what a truck driver goes through on a daily basis to get your essentials where they need to go and um believe it or not i've been in the industry for 21 years now and I've never been on the other end of the phone. I'm always the one, hey, have you picked up? This is where you're going. This is where you're gonna go. This is the time. Being on the road doing the opposite is like a trip. It's a trip. It's very um, hectic. Está cansado el trabajo, you know? Uno piensa que, ay, nomás está sentado. Si está sentado, pero es una piega. Like, fuck, I remember the end of the night sometimes we would check into a hotel other times we'd shower at the ta and um sleep in the truck it was just different it was so you know um you know me i'm used to my showers every single night every single morning depending on what i'm doing throughout the day i shower again um yeah none of that it was one shower at night and before bed and you're good that's it i don't know toothbrushes in the truck washing your brushing your grill in the truck in the morning spitting out the door it was just oh this matter you know but it was very nice uh, i haven't posted yet my adventure for that as you guys know if you're familiar with my show i have a lot of stuff in my vault that's what i call in my um my files on my phone and i release certain things you know as i go um Right now, like I said, I just posted Halloween stuff like last week and the week before. Because once again, I'm just so backed up with everything, like on my social media. And like I said, I just needed a mental break. Like I just felt really overwhelmed with everything. I just needed to do exactly what I did. Drive far away and just mind my business and take in the fresh air and live life and that's what I did so here I am I'm back I'm happy healthy 
um, you know, still working on the little things every day to improve, you know, there's always room for improvement. But um, I just wanted to stop by, give you guys a quick video so you don't forget about me or think I forgot about you, because no. And um, yeah, I wanted to give you guys, all, all my followers, supporters, my friend, my raza, whatever you want to refer yourself to me, gracias. My Instagram is just, like, can I say I'm fire right now? <laughs> it's like, um, um, I hit 24,000 followers two days ago. And um, so I'm going to be giving out that coffee tumbler. You guys know. If you don't know, what I do is every time I hit 1,000 new followers, I give a coffee tumbler away. Now that I'm talking about that, do not think I forgot about you guys. I know I owe about six tumblers. They're sitting in my living room right now. So I will get those in the mail Friday. I promise. I promise. When I left, I had barely got the cups probably two days before that. So like everything was so fast and rushed and everything. I didn't really have time to send them out. So they set them right here on my sala in my living room for about two three weeks um then after right away we rushed in for christmas so it was a whole decorate because my girls were like it's christmas where's the tree where's this so we were doing that i did santa pictures my work my work my work like i said my husband's out driving so i have them here and there with the loads it's just been like like this non-stop for me so don't think I forgot. Yeah, um, otras to mail them out to you guys too. So I know I owe, and I'm sorry, forgive me, pero they will be on their way, I promise. With that situation squared away, I want to tell you guys, yes, if you post this link, tag me, mention me, whatever, to my any social media of mine, and you must be a new follower. So if you're not following me yet, find me on YouTube. It is, um, I believe it's my name, Becky Lopez, 91744. Logo is a beehive. So, yeah, follow me, new followers. Post this link or mention this link anywhere on your social media. Tag me with it and claim your free coffee tumbler. That's what I'm doing. Um, I have an anniversary coming up also, so February 11th, my show Con Madriando, Aquí Con Café, celebrating two years. I know, right? It is so exciting for me because once again, when I started all this, it was in a soul-searching moment for me. Like, you sit there and you think about life and everything's passing you by. And the stuff you wanted to do, the stuff you haven't done, the stuff that you eventually want to do. So being able to talk to everybody in general, because a lot of people tune in. I usually do lives on Facebook. So we have people checking in, checking out, commenting and stuff like that. It's a good way for me to get all that out of my system. You know what I mean? My original plan in life, well, one of them, was I wanted to be on the radio. I'm too old for that. I don't want to do school, um, mainly because I have zero time. I am a wife, housewife, a mother, and I work super full time. I have zero time for school right now. So, like I said, just getting a few minutes in with you guys and just talking my smack is what I need to make my soul feel better. You know, I had a full cast. Um, my sister had her baby. The baby's born a while back. So she's doing the mommy thing, the new mommy thing again. She's a, a mom, a new mom all over again. Um, the other comadre, well, you guys know what happened with that. And yeah. Uh, and then the comadre Stephanie, un saludo to her. Uh, she has a hard time too finding a sitter and getting the time. So yeah, everything just, you know, like I said, priorities first i always tell them don't feel bad this is just something to do you know 
So yeah, I just, like I said, I wanted to let you guys know where I have been because I know you guys are watching my stuff. You're looking at my posts and like, what the hell is up with this broad? That's what's up. We were playing truck driver. I would love to go back, but this weather, that, that didn't fail. Um, TikTok, I just got into that. So if you guys follow me on that, thank you too. I try not to post as much stuff because um, my main, like, to view are on YouTube, but it's just little like previews, I guess, of what I have going on. So yeah, thank you guys. You know, I have about 230 followers on TikTok, I think. And I just post little um, videos of the stuff we do. Like you guys know, I'm always on the go. We're always checking something out. We're always, you know, looking at different things, looking into different things. So why not share it with you guys? You know, um, that project too. Like I have my YouTube channel. I have my sit down, this one. Cafe, aquí con cafe. And I have, amo nos recio. That's what I call it. Because that's what I tell the girls in John. Every time we're getting ready to leave, amo nos recio. Let's go. Hurry up. So what I do with that is... Um, Put places on the map for you guys, literally. Um, I had friends, I have friends that are either not well in health, that are not very mobile. And I have friends that are in jail. Saludos a ustedes, los que me estén viendo. And I know it's hard for them to check out different places because obviously you can't go anywhere. Um, on top of that, I like to document my stuff for my kids. Um, they go with me being, you know, me. You never know what can happen and like that at least my kids are able to access their mother and watch my stuff take you know a trip down memory lane memories of you know the places we took them to and stuff like that so that's what i mainly you know document my stuff for it's fun to learn you know it's very fun to learn um i love all the history that we have here in the area there's so much to look at, so much to know, so much to learn, so much to just take in. And like I said, what better way than to check it out by, you know, first hand, I guess you could say. Así para que no me lo cuenten. Yo quiero ver. You know, I gotta know how that chisme rolls. Point blank. Ahí está. So, yeah, like I said, um, 24,000 followers. Muchas gracias. You fill my heart with so much joy. Messages I get, um, comments that you guys post, people on my YouTube, like you guys just make me so happy. Like I'm doing something for a reason, not just to get a like or, you know, whatever. Um, I've also had my share of fucking crazy people just last month. Oh my goodness. If you were following me on um, Facebook, I apologize for all that drama. But some women, wow, that's all I could say. Just wow, you know. Um, I'm going to set the record straight on that. I'm not an unfit mother, first of all. I'm a smother. I don't even let my kids breathe. So there goes that one. Number two, I'm not a home wrecker. I don't believe in that. I've had my own home wrecked before, so I would never do that to anybody. Okay, I've been through that. I wouldn't do it to anybody. And third of all, I'm not a party animal. I'm not always in the streets. I'm not always doing whatever this lady was saying I was doing. I don't leave my house without my kids or my husband for that matter. Uh, like once again, I'm telling you, I'm a smother. My kid sleeps in her own room, the older one. I have two, 10 year old, a four year old. Okay, um, my four year old still sleeps with us. She lays down in her bed every night and come about one, two in the morning, she's back in the bed with us. My kids do not sleep without me. They cannot even let me get a nail appointment because they're losing their shit because mommy's not home. So this lady saying that I leave my kids unattended for weeks at a time, that's a lie. That I leave them with my in-laws, with my mom. My in-laws have a very hello goodbye relationship with the kids. They have a lot of other stuff going on. They're busy. We don't go bug them with my kids. None of that. No. 
Um, my mom, también, she's, you know, I'm not going to be bothering her to babysit for us to go and live a life. That's not how it rolls here. And um, body shaming, all that. If you guys know me, you've been following me for a while. You know, yo no soy envidiosa. Yo no soy sangrona. A mí no me importa. Cada quien tiene lo suyo, and I congratulate you for that. But, you know, you're trying to throw out your boob job and this and that. You have boots and um, DKM wide boots that cost so much and a flat screen TV. I don't know. To me personally, I'm not one to brag because I don't think anybody cares what my life is like. To sit there and body shame another mother about their breast or how fat or how flabby, that will never come out of me. Why? Once again, if it's a mother to a mother, how dare you? That's how I'm going to say. How dare you? Ahí está. So, yeah, you know, I, I've just been doing this throughout this whole two-month period. Um, it's been um, it's been a wild ride, like I said. We've been here, we've been there, we've been everywhere. My mind's been doing this. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's wonderful. I'm not going to say no. So, yeah, you know, I want to just mandale saludos, like I said. Don't forget about me. I will hopefully be recording with the girls next week. I asked them to, so hopefully they'll be able to join me. And that's the way I'm going to run the show, you know, like I started to when I started doing solos last summer. Um, I'll, I'll try to get at least one group show for you guys to keep it interesting, you know. It was, yeah, you know, they asked me, well, what kind of show do you do? You talk. Okay, I used to interview people. That was the main idea behind my show and talk about different things. You can catch all my older episodes on YouTube. You have to scroll all the way back. A lot of them I took out because of um, legal stuff. A simple waiver saying this is La Comadre Show, not mine was a very hard thing to sign so unfortunately i lost a lot of episodes because that person was just being hard-headed and super rude so you know i'm not one to fight i'm not one to do legal nothing i don't care like i said i'm not benefiting i'm not making any money off of this this is just something for people to you know sit here and like talk to me you have some problem going on, and I always say that everywhere. Talk to me. You guys need something, message me. You know, depression's horrible. Um, when you're sitting here with problems and you feel alone and you have nobody to talk to, it's horrible. So, you know, I, I take it in as, um, I wouldn't say you're a therapist. It's like, go madre, I'm such a chismolia. Tell me what's your problem, you know what I mean? Let's talk about it. Get it off your, your chest. Get it over with. And, um, yeah, this, this person, she didn't want to sign. Um, she's claiming at one point that my show was hers. It was just one of those things. Like I said, um, now I'll talk about it a little bit. Like, I haven't really been, like, in my, or in the mood, I should say. In the mood to talk about all that stuff. But I think it's okay to just, you know, let you guys know what was really going on. So, yeah, you know, um, I lost a lot of episodes because of that, copyright issues and um, waivers and a release. So, I está, you know, whatever. We'll pick it up. The world ain't over. Uh, betrayal much? Yes. Pero pues pasa, right? Aquí estoy anyway. No big deal. We're not gonna die about it. Uh, life goes on. I go on. I have so many things to talk about. Uh, like I said, at first it was interviewing and talking about those topics that are hard to talk about or you don't know about, you know, um, educate yourself on certain things like birth control. Those were some of my topics back when. Those are still up. And, you know, just stuff like that. It's always good to know because I feel like us, the Latino community, are always ashamed or embarrassed. Todo nos da vergüenza. Like, oh my God, no hablen de eso. We need to talk about it, guys. Talk about it, you know, read about it, learn about it. We need to do it all. We need to just evolve and do it. So that was the purpose behind me starting this little project of mine. And yeah, I'll just keep going. Like I said, it's hard to interview people because nobody ever wants to talk on camera. 
everybody's too shy so you know i'm real shy too but i'm still here anyway um and yeah you know i'll just talk about different things um things we can learn together interesting things uh i've covered paranormal things just unexplained things you name it the things we'll we'll talk about you know so yeah i just wanted to like i said stop on through let you guys know i'm still here i'm thinking about everybody like i said it's so humbling to see that people actually like me <laughs> as silly as that sounds yes it's true and um yeah so yeah con eso pues los dejo ahorita i'll be obviously doing more little takes like this so keep following me guys um share the links i will be posting um our big trip on youtube probably next week sometime i will be uploading tomorrow it's wednesday i will be uploading more of our little adventures and stuff so yeah find me on tiktok youtube i'm on facebook instagram of course and if you need to email me también tengo an email just for this it's tucumadeb at gmail.com which is yours truly and i will be posting lots of pictures on pinterest i know i started there was a big issue with my phone back in um october Se borró todo. I don't know. It rebooted. I don't know what happened to my phone. It literally like turned off. It took forever to turn back on. And when I finally did, no había nada on my phone. All my everything, my records of everything possible, um, my work emails were gone. All my pictures, all my videos, like everything just erased. And that's why, too, I got so angry because I had, like, two full shows on there that I was still editing and ready to upload, and it just didn't happen. That was actually in September because the last show I recorded for you guys was the Hispanic Heritage Month. And it just, like, broke my heart. You know, it's like I sit here, I get ready for you guys. I, you know, set time aside. I do the whole recording. Um editing is what's hardest because it's just like god my my little girl no me deja said nada so it's like damn and i was just ready to post them and they just were gone like the um google cloud didn't even back them up so i was just like oh my god like yeah sorry so yeah like i said i'm back thank you guys um happy new year too i forgot to open with that you know we're two weeks into the 2023 i hope este año les vaya bien bonito les deseo suerte les deseo trabajo les deseo salud for those of you guys that don't understand um wishing you guys a beautiful year i hope you're full of work and health and i just want the best for everybody guys come on you know we're always thinking this is our year and then a certain little thing happens and mandamos toda la chingada Nah, guys, let's keep going. Let's keep going. If you have not had your year yet, make this your year. If you guys come up with a little situation, a problem, just use it as a speed bump. Slow down. Readjust. Y sigan chingando madres. I promise you it will be so worth it. I promise you. Well, at least that's what I do. You know, I just, nah, whatever. Keep going. It is what it is. So, yeah, guys, con eso los dejo. Um... I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope I get to sit here with you guys again this week because I have a lot to talk about. Sainos vamos al rato. Los adoro. Good night.